So I've got two parallel lines, okay? And I've got the transversal, which is running through both of them. But then at the same time, I've got this angle here, which is 4x plus 15. And I know this is, by the way, parallel to that. And this is 5x minus 10. The first thing is also this is given as AB, and this is given as CD. And we asked to find the value of x. So I know that by vertically opposite angles, this must be 5x minus 10 as well. This will be 5x minus 10 from this to this. So now from here, what I have is the following corresponding angles. So we've got vertically opposite angles makes that possible. And these two angles are now corresponding, right? And corresponding angles are equal. So these two are corresponding angles. So I can make them equal. So I take 5x minus 10 and I make it equal to 4x. 15. Now I'm going to subtract 4x and I'm going to end up with 5x minus 4x and I'm going to add 10 on the other side, so 10 plus 15. That'll become 25. 5x minus 4x becomes x, so x is equal to 25 for this. Now if I substitute it in here, it should work out. If I make this 25, 25 times 5 is 125 minus 10 is 115. So this is 115 degrees. If I put 25 in here, I get 100 plus 15, which is also 115 degrees. So therefore, my answer is correct. So let's go to another one now. Let's suppose I've got lines drawn like this and some kind of transversal here. And I am told that this is x plus 44 degrees, and over here I got 2x minus 36 degrees, and I want to find the value of x if these two lines are given as parallel lines. Okay, try this one. Okay, so I got parallel lines, and I can see that those two angles are co interior angles, right? In co interior angles, add to 180 degrees, which means if I take this, which is x plus 44, and I add it to this, which is 2x minus 36, it becomes 180 degrees. x plus 2x becomes 3x, and 44 minus 36 becomes 44 minus 4 is 40, minus 6 becomes 8. All right, and that's equal to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to minus 8 from here. I'm going to have 172. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I'm just going to grab a calculator quickly. 3, 172 divided by 3. Comes to 57.3 degrees. So therefore, x is equal to 57.3 degrees to three significant figures. So if I substitute 57.3 in here, it will get me 57.3 plus 44. So plus 44 comes to 101.3. And if I multiply 2 times 57.3 and then minus 36 from there, I'll get 78.6 from here. So if I add those two together, 78.6 plus 101.3, it comes to 179.9, which is rounds up to 180 degrees. All right. So yeah, a bit of rounding, but that would be the solution for this one.